Good morning. I love being out here during this time. Um, it's not super early, but it's early. The sun is now starting to come and peek over the house, so I didn't get out here in time today to spray the neem oil first thing in the morning, so I'm going to do that this evening. But I've gotten these plant twist ties from Lowe's. I'm going to start tying up the tomato plants so that they can grow up tall and strong and not bent over and it looks like I need to transplant some cucumbers because they're starting to take off and I'm very excited about that. Here's some of the mixed bell peppers that are coming up pretty good. This little plant's trying to survive. That little plant's trying to survive. This one is just thriving. I mean it's really doing so good. So it's going to trellis up hopefully all the way um there's the tomato plants they're not as big as some others that i've seen um but they're getting there i'm trying to keep keep on top of them uh white flies so i'm going to spray that neem oil this evening um these cucumbers are doing well now so i'm going to actually transplant those over here in this bed because these did not um uh, that one's trying, but I'm not really sure that it's going to do anything. I'm going to leave it and see what it does. Um, there's another mixed bell pepper. I need to put more dirt in this. Fill this up with dirt. Mixed bell pepper. Nope, nope, nope. I'm wrong. That's, that's, um, cayenne pepper. These are cayenne peppers. So, anyway, I've got a little bit of work to do. My garden's not that great. We got so busy, I neglected a lot of it, and so I don't have all the plants that I wanted to get out. out. So I'm just going to work with what I have and just be thankful. So let's take a closer look at these tomato plants. There's still a few of the white flies. I don't know if that's the white flies or the larva of them. So I still I need to just continue to treat them. So this evening when the sun kind of goes down, I'll spray that neem oil on there and we'll see how that does to keep them off. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. I want to thank you guys for giving me advice and input. The majority, the majority ruled neem oil. So that's what I invested in. So at this time, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do these plant twist ties. Um, probably trim, kind of prune off some of that under foliage all this stuff i'm going to take it off trim it off it looks like actually this plant over here is probably a cherry tomato plant i got them mixed in with the big one so it'll be a surprise actually yeah this is a cherry tomato plant but as you can see i still have a few of them pests on the plants i need to get them taken care of so i'm probably going to prune like this one off um, all these ones that are under here, I'm just going to kind of prune them off um, to help the plant a little bit to produce more fruit. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to work through my plants this morning, get them tied up, um, and then this evening I'll get them sprayed down, do a little bit of weeding. I got some weeds trying to come up there. That's a no-no. So here's another weed. Guys, this is this plant is so heavy. <laughs> it's only got this one tomato on there and then a cluster. So if I don't have it tied up, see it's just gonna lay flat. <laughs> it is so heavy. So it's so important to have them staked or tied so that they can grow be off the ground, trimming up the bottom. So they'll produce better fruit, grow nice and tall and strong. And then I've secured it with one of the ties. It's kind of hidden. And now it can stand upright. I don't know if y'all can even tell a difference, but I certainly can. And so I'm more confident that these tomatoes are going to make it through all everything that they've been through the bugs and all the you know things that I've tried to do to them to get them bugs off so I have trimmed up the bottom if you can see 
so they're not laying on the ground. And I have tied them with those plant ties loosely so they will have enough room to continue to grow upward. Um, and as they grow, I'll just retie them as they grow up this. Um, so I'm going to finish out. I got one, two, I got three rows because I've got one actually on the back side of this. As you can see, that is a jungle. <laughs> so I need to clean this row up to look like this row. That is my project today. Something I've noticed that I don't know that I like and I hope that it doesn't hurt my plants. I hope this is picking up. I don't know that it is. It, the twist ties, the plant twist ties, kind of... Uh, I don't think it's picking up. They cut into the plant a little bit. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get good lighting to pick that up for you guys, but maybe I can take a picture or something but it's kind of cutting into the plant I don't really like that I hope it doesn't affect it any okay I have got the pruning done and I've cleaned up the bottom of each of the beds guys it looks so much better I had some casualties I've got to rake those out but I really feel like these plants are gonna be okay I actually prayed over them um, that the Lord would allow them to grow and be fruitful. And actually, pruning is biblical. it's really windy right now so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have I need I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and try I'm spraying them with the neem oil spray I got the concentrate I got it at Lowe's I mixed it myself so I'm just spraying all the plants even trying to get up underneath like underneath the leaves because they do hide under there too those white flies so I'm just gonna spray all my plants and this cucumber I don't see anything on this cucumber plant it's growing huge um, but I'm really probably gonna go ahead and spray it too just to be safe because I'm gonna get these moved over finally I'm going to find them some homes and get them growing up the trellis. So I just want to be safe. And I got really excited because Patrick showed me this. I've got th I've got some bell pepper coming in. They're little mixed, the mixed colored bell peppers. So they're starting to come in. I'm really excited. So we're going to get these beds weeded out today. Um, get our plants. Uh, just give them some TLC today. I'm also going to spray like the ground around them because they're also down there like they fall off and then they're on the ground. So I'm also going to spray the ground just to have that additive preventative.
I'm going to end it here. And I'll do another update in a few days and let you guys know how this neem oil is working and um, if I've been able to control the infestation of these white flies. So God bless. Thanks for watching.